In this video, I will use ChatGPT help to draw this Riverside shop that my Patreons voted for. So you probably have seen or heard or tried ChatGPT yourself, but it is an AI that can help you write anything. So I am giving him a prompt, or not him, but it, a prompt to describe this scene. You can pause and read or just give try ChatGPT yourself with all kinds of prompts. I will take some things out and draw everything it wrote, but mainly I will try to stay on the ideas it gave me. And I think it is an awesome idea to try if you have an art block. So I am using cold press watercolor paper 300 GSM A5 size and I made a circle in the middle of the page and the horizon line. The river is on the left uh, of the shop. I will start with that and I also want to add footbridge and later on I will add a little boat. So the shop I will keep simple with planks and that thatched roof and on the outside I will add baskets with tapestry and pottery pots and also a path that will lead outside of the drawing and a little sign that will show us there is something outside of the drawing too. And the chat GPT said there is a tree and branches are reaching the water so I will add that too. And if you don't want to sketch this out yourself then you can buy an outline page on my coffee shop or become my Patreon. I will leave the links in the description. For the ink outline I am using 0.2 waterproof ink fine liner and I am just outlining everything, adding some little lines and dots where I feel like to. And if you have objects overlapping, I would suggest to start outlining the ones in the front and then go to the objects in the back. So you don't draw lines that wouldn't be seen. So just keep the outlines as neat or as wobbly as you like and see you and I'll show what colors I will be using.
I will use white gouache, raw sienna, sap green, olive green, red geranium, yellow, coral, ceruleum blue, warm grey, burnt sienna, burnt amber and paints grey. I draw wet on dry technique with drown brush size 11, but use the brush you feel comfortable with. And I will start with draw sienna and color in the footbridge. I am leaving some white spaces, those will act as highlights and a bit of interest, adding a bit of interest. And also color in the sign, the baskets and the stone stones on the path, but I will leave a bit of empty space and fill that in with the warm grey. For the roof I am using burnt sienna because the chat GPT said brown roof and I am just covering that area very loosely. I will use the same burnt sienna to add dimension to the baskets and the foot bridge. With burnt amber I will darken the roof with few strokes. For the water I am using the blue. I really can't pronounce the full name of it but all the colors I will list in the description. And I just covered the water area leaving darker and lighter spaces and while it is still wet I will draw some water plants with the sap green and let the colors blend together. The grass I want to be warm so I am using olive green covering the grass area and also bushes and also the tree on the left side and adding in the blue at the sky and also blending the sky together with the tree to make that part of the drawing look more dreamy and not with harsh lines. With warm grey I am adding a bit of color to the sail and I also chose brown for the boat and with the warm grey I am also coloring the planks on the shop facade, but very loosely. For the windows, door and the shop sign I decided to color them with raw sienna, so they will be warm wood color and inside of the windows I will color with the blue.
For the tapestry, I am using yellow, red geranium and also blue. And for the pots, burnt sienna. I also darkened the boat with burnt sienna. And with sap green, let's make the water plants stand out more. So, this time the water is dry and the green won't bleed into the blue. And add some more dimension to the water with the blue. Just add little strokes in the water. Then with the sap green, I am darkening the bushes, also adding some accents to the grass, and then adding more color to the tree on the right side, and another layer of raw sienna to the shop, door sign and windows to make them stand out more. I always like to start lighter, and adding one more layer of color if I feel like to. And here I am adding a bit of paint grey mixed with warm grey to give a bit of dimension to the planks and darken one side of the door and windows. There will be a shadow. Now let's darken the tree. For the tree trunk I am using burnt sienna and for the leaves I am adding very opaque layer of olive green. But with scribbly strokes and the same for the other three and then also you can add sap green in the mix. Then with coral, add some flowers in the grass and also in the tree if you want. Now with paints grey I am adding shadows in the windows. It will make them look more 3D. Decide where your light source is and draw according to that and also a little shadow from the shop sign. And the last thing I like to add is white gouache, but use white ink or jelly roll pen if you don't have gouache to add highlights to everything. And basically you are done with the drawing. I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you ever have an art look, try using ChatGPT in your advantage. And see you next time. Bye!